Chris, first of all, just want to talk about the league title last season, which is obviously a great achievement, probably not the way it came about, but obviously you must be proud of that. Yeah, obviously we'd love to have um, you know, gone on and won it. We're in a really healthy position and, and believed in the way that we was playing and kind of the performances we were putting in alongside the results that we would go on to, to, to win it. So I thought the boys deserved it for the hard work and, and the effort they put in through the season. But like you said, not the, not the way to win it, but you know, for them um, to get the recognition for all their hard work was, was a really nice thing. And obviously the lockdown period was, was difficult for everyone. How did the, the lads cope with that? Were they training at home? Were they keeping themselves in, in good shape? Yeah, so as much as we could, obviously before furlough and, and stuff like that, as much as we could, um, we would still get them outside and working and then they, they followed the programme and they've all come back in, in really good shape. You know, we had, in the under 23s football, we have a lot of boys in different positions. So we had boys out on loan at uh, league clubs that had to come back. We had boys that were up with the first team all the time. We had boys that weren't doing anything. So um, there was a load of different people in a load of different positions. But to a man, when they've come back, they've, they've come back in really good shape and, and raring to go and probably realised how much, you know, we all missed football when it, when it wasn't there. And as you say, there's lads in different positions, different stages of fitness. Have, have you had to adjust the way the pre-season's working to, to get everyone back up to the same level? Yeah, yeah, to a degree. Um, a short and pre-season as well. First league games, I think next week. So it's you know it's a couple of weeks longer normally to to get the work and and the kind of the the amount of distances and, and stuff in. But sports science, um, Dan's our sports scientist. He's he's brilliant. He he, he works everyone to the to the measurements they require, and and, and we pride ourselves on being really fit um, and being able to to do you know the physical side of the game really really well, which the academy's done for for a long time. So. Um, they're all in a good place and uh, and we're like raring to go for the new season now. And I guess the aim would be to win the title on the pitch this time round. Yeah, I mean, well, the aim is always to get boys in the first team, so it's lovely and the recognition that the players have got most importantly and the academy's got again um, for, for doing well. The when you break it down and go through the process that, that the academy goes through to, to get players in a position to how to win an under 23 league and to go into a first team, the thank the, the well dones need to go all the way down from some of the boys that won the league last year, Brennan Johnson, Alex Meyer been here since they were, you know, seven, eight years old. So it, it's not just, you know, us winning a league or us getting a t uh, players into the first team. We have to be get we have to get given, be get given, if that makes sense, um, good players from the under 18s, which Gareth Holmes and Tom Mallardson do every single year. The knock-on from that is the under-16 coaches, Dan Bow and, and Don, Donovan Geffield need to be able to give the under-18s good players. So there's a huge process that Gary Brazil oversees and has done a magnificent job to, to get players able to play for our first team or for a first team. And, and over the years, we've done that really, really well. We get a load of pride out of winning the league, but I get more pride out of seeing Jake Taylor play. You know, 30 times for Port Vale, more pride at seeing Jaden Richardson playing a, a playoff final at Wembley than, than, us, than us winning the league, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, I was going to say, those players, the ones that have come in to the first team here, Brennan Johnson, Alex Martin and you know, Jordan Gabriel, players like that who have made their debuts this season and also the ones who have gone out on loan. It's, it's great to see them playing first team football. Yeah, most definitely, and, and we have aims and we have targets at the start of every season. Um, and it never, and a target is never the league table. Um, Gaz has, you know, since I started doing it two and a half years ago, um, Gaz has never mentioned the league table once to me. Obviously, he's happy when we win games of football, same as everyone. And football is about winning, especially when they hopefully get down here. But you know, in their development stage, we'd much rather go with a weaker team because we've got six or seven or eight players out on loan, um, like we did have at, at certain points last year, than go with a really strong, strong uh, team where the boys aren't growing and aren't developing. And the best way for them to grow and develop is to take them out of their comfort zone. And that's first team football. And some of the gains we got away from the football club in terms of loans and some of the gains we got from the boys getting experience on the pitch. You know, it was a fantastic year all round and the aim for the boys this year is to be better than last year in, in all them departments. More players out on loan, more players in the first team, more points when we get to our more points and, and wins when we get to our league season. And on a personal level, are you still enjoying your, your role as, as coach of the 23s? Yeah, I love it. I love it. Obviously, Andy Reid's came in and Reedy's come in and worked with us from 
December onwards, so it's nice, you know, very good friends off the pitch as well. We weren't always, you know, weren't sure how that dynamic could work, but we, we really enjoy working together as well. Um, and obviously with Gaz overseeing it and, and the other guys that I get to work with every day, we've got a great department, um, uh, you know, the PDP, the under-23s and under-18s who work together every single day. We've got some really elite people um, who are very, very good at their job and, and, and without them doing their job really well, we wouldn't put ourselves in a position to have athletes that could handle first team football um, whether it's here or out on loan so love coming into work every day we have a good laugh and, and obviously the results have been good which is uh, which is great as well.